What's up, guys? How's it going? Another episode of Fernie and Vero. All right, guys, so we got hungry and, you know, we decided to take you guys on a little drive with us, you know. We got some good news. Tell them. You tell them. No, 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 you got to show them first. You know, Daddy Trump gave me money, so I got a new phone. Ooh, she got the new iPhone, guys. Got the iPhone 11. See, I would have gotten the Pro, but that's expensive. So... Yeah, he gave me money, but not to be wasting it like that, you know? Yeah. So, are you liking the new phone? The only difference between this phone, the iPhone 11, and the old phone that I had, which was the iPhone 8, uh, is that it no longer has a home button. It's bigger, thicker. It has yeah, like two cameras. Oh, my key wallpaper. Huh? There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it has two cameras, and the camera is so good. Uh, I'm pretty sure most of you already have this. Um... But I'm just going to show y'all anyways. <laughs> right, show him a little, little something, something. I was trying to show my brother the portrait camera that I love. Because look at how clean this thing is. And then I took up my, my baby right here. Our picture right when we got home. Look at how good this picture is. I know. I mean, I'm already in the picture. It's already good. But, uh, <laughs> but I took, and then he took this one of me and my little nephew. I like it. It's really good. I mean, not to lie, like, I thought it was going to take me longer to get used to it, but I'm already used to it. And um, then I grabbed your phone because you had the same phone I used to have. I grab it and I'm like, oh, damn, this is small. Thankfully, she finally got it. And I'm so happy because she finally got the phone because I know she's been wanting it for a while. I was really debating if to get it or not, though. The only reason why I got it is because it was only going to charge me 30 months extra monthly. And I t and I told I told you remember I was I wouldn't do it if they charge me more than forty monthly. Yeah. But that's a good thing that they didn't charge me a lot for monthly. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, life is good right now, guys. So, uh, so hungry. Well, what are we gonna get? Pollo loco still? I want pollo loco. I've been craving pollo loco because you know I'm pregnant. My baby wants pollo loco. I uh, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <gasps> Uh, cruz cruz uh, <laughs> no right. but yeah i've been craving for your local i i just i was sitting down in the in the living room i'm becoming very picky with what i eat and i don't like that because i've never been like that huh yeah true but to the whole the whole quarantine we eat in a lot and then we get tired of the food that we eat in here so we eat it out but we get tired of the food out there too yeah and, and then i just i was sitting there and i was thinking I haven't had pollo loco in a while, and I started wanting some. So here he goes, taking me to pollo loco. Uh, skirt, skirt. About to drive my Tesla. You can see my fat ass breathe so hard because this shit goes in and out. Oh, you can see a little bit of my lips. Thankfully, we're able to go inside pollo loco because I'm sick and tired of trying to go through drive throughs And the fact that uh, it gets super packed in the drive throughs and it's frustrating and I'm wasting gas money. But thankfully, gas is cheap right now, guys. And yeah. oh, it's coming off. And then, sorry you guys, my makeup is so day. And my makeup's messed up because I fell asleep. I was tired because last night, Fernie, had, Fernie slept over. Because we had to do, long story short, we had to do some stuff for work. And it kept us up all night long. And then I woke up, I woke up early to get on Zoom with my child development class. And I was so tired. I just knocked out out of the nowhere, huh? On the couch, you yeah. know? And when I woke up, I woke up to this. <laughs> I know, like, I mean, both of us, we've been in college and, you know, we wrote in, like, a whole bunch of freaking essays and, you know, a whole bunch of math problems and stuff. And then this was more stressful and frustrating than anything. Honestly. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't hard to do it. It's just the it's fact just that consuming. it was time consuming. Hey, you want to know cool? I just realized that you're holding the vlog camera. Usually I'm the one that's doing it. I know. That. So you're gonna um, be doing that now since I'm driving? Yeah, what was I saying? The point is that that's why I look like sh because I didn't get enough sleep and I'm tired. <laughs> and Fernie's driving, he's driving to Pollo Loco. And you wanna know what sucks is that I've been wanting canes for a while and the the one right here in Downey it's it's gotten so packed to the point where we're probably gonna have to wait like an hour and a half in the drive through. And it wraps around the whole mall and it's annoying because I've been wanting them. I'm down to like come I think they open at nine. I'm oh, down yeah. to come like at 8 a.m. I swear. Yeah, we should do it. Because I've been wanting canes for a while too, and it's like, it's crazy packed. If you guys are familiar with canes, right there in Downey on Stonewood Mall by next to Olive Garden, 
I'm not even kidding you guys. The line. Oh my god. It probably like goes all around the freaking mall. Like no joke. Like y'all probably be like, what the hell? This, this is exaggerating. Like, uh-uh. I am not. Ah, we're here. I hate this. The freaking mask. I hate wearing them. Because, first of all, I could barely breathe. Fat people problems. And second of all, my ears are too too small, so look how they bent. It's annoying. I'm passing over to my boyfriend. Ooh. All right, I caught it. Oh yeah, guys, but if you guys know any good spots that we can, uh, you know, eat around around here in Los Angeles, let us know. Well, we're really gonna start in May, and it's already getting crazy. April was kind of crazy too with the whole thing. I mean, I'm over this already. Like, I wanna go out. I mean, we're going out, but it's not the same. Like. We go out to like buy essentials or food and then come back home and like I want to be able to go to the beach and I don't even like the beach that much. I want to go to the movies. I want to go eat out at an actual restaurant and, and eat there. I'm so annoyed. I'm going crazy. Well, one of the things I for sure want to do is go to Universal Studios. Oh, yes. And that sucked because we were planning to get our pass, but then mm -hmm. this whole thing happened. But hey, at least I got my car and then she got her duple. Oh, yeah. Eh? 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 Yeah. yeah. All right, well, we're about to get our food right now, and you already know what you're going to want to get? I don't know what I'm going to want to get. Right? I want I want food. I know, but what, what are you going to get at Pollo Loco? I want food. You, you guys feel me on this uh, topic, huh? Nah, just kidding. I'm <laughs> going to get chicken, mac and cheese, rice and beans. Green bean, tomato, broccoli. Hey, I just kidding. A tomato with broccoli. I don't even know how it goes. I just know it goes. Green bean, tomatoes. And I forget the rest. Yeah. And I'm getting so frustrated with this mask thing because it's frustrating because I have to like, I have to drive with it now and then it's frustrating because I'm trying to breathe and then sometimes I'm such in a rush to move my car or to to try to go somewhere and then it gets to the point where I'm just like, oh damn, I forgot my mask and then it's already like too late. Yeah. Or it's just like. Okay, I gotta, I gotta get out of my car, turn off the car, go back to my house, and then go get it again. And then that's, that's happened annoying. to her before too, yeah. But yeah, it's crazy. And then I don't know. I'm already tired of this new normal. I want to get back to how things are were, but like in a in a better way, yeah. Cause you know, I want to be able to work. I want to be able to see my family. Like at least you know, give you guys better vlogs. Cause you know, it gets to the point where. We can't even record or we run out of things to record. Oh, I fixed especially. it a little. I what? tied the sides so that it won't bend my my ears that much. We're going to go get Pollo Loco before they close. So we'll see you guys in a few. Ah. If you guys live in Southgate, California, you guys damn know that it's never like this empty. And it's crazy. And you can't even eat inside. That's ridiculous. <sighs> but yeah. Usually this place is super packed already. All right, guys. So it turns out that Pollo Loco is closed. I'm so mad. So what are we gonna get? Oh no, I'm just gonna lay here and die. Oh my god. No, for real. What do you wanna get? I'm just gonna lay here and die. So I guess working. Yeah. I could take this half now because I couldn't breathe. Well, I'm gonna. Have to... I was really looking forward to getting a quesadilla. I want the Pollo Loco. <laughs> What the heck? <laughs> Just kidding. All right, guys. So I don't know if anybody has heard, but I find it crazy that AMC has br like broken ties with Universal Pictures, which is insane because first off in City Walk there is uh, AMC, and AMC usually shows a lot of good um, Universal movies like Jurassic World, uh, Trolls, and it's crazy. And the fact that they're breaking ties just because they had some disagreements about some stuff that went down in a meeting with the top guys and i personally feel like that's not a good move because of the fact that they're trying to include them in this thing where they're gonna be where we we as customers are able to um watch the movies in our own comfort the comfort of our own home but we're still paying for a ticket like a movie ticket but since the pandemic's going on we can't really go to movie theaters what we could do is we can rent the movie for 24 hours and then you know you can rewatch it and then i feel like you know that's pretty that's pretty cool because first off you get to like enjoy the movie a little bit more and you know you're able to uh 
watch the movie with your friends and you know be able to buy your own popcorn and you know like just try just, just to try it out that's all they wanted to do just yep. try out how it goes and then the fact that trolls made a whole bunch of mo- uh, money and it was super successful and hold on because i'm gonna order <laughs> hello, hello, hello. hello all right guys we just finished getting our food what were they talking about i forgot about the oh, universal yeah. thing Oh yeah, Universal Pictures breaking out of AMC, and I just feel like that's crazy because if AMC is not gonna do it, I know Regal or the other companies like Fandango, they're gonna take, they're gonna move up. Cause I know AMC is one of the top uh, businesses where we watch movies, like for the movie theater industry and all that. And I find I find it crazy because it's just like they, they they were gonna make money off of that too. It's not like Universal was gonna take away money from that. Yeah, and I get it. Like I understand the fact that. They had a contract with Universal where they have to show the movie first at the movie theater and then release it on digital and DVD and Blu-ray and all that. But, you know, during this pandemic, they tried talking to them about it and showing them, look, Trolls was really successful at this point. Maybe we should try this as an alternative just to see, just to start it out. I still want to see the movie. Yeah, I really want to watch it too. And I'm saddened because I'm a really huge, huge dinosaur and Jurassic Park and Jurassic World fan and... You know, I'm not gonna be able to watch my movies at the AMC theater. I mean, I don't really go. I usually go to, we usually go to Studio Movie Grill, huh? Yeah. Yeah. But it's just crazy. It's just like, dang, I did not expect that to happen at all. Me either. Yeah. I just think it's stupid. Like, you're, it's gonna be their loss at the end of the day. Universe is gonna be, keep making the money they're gonna keep making, and that's it. Yeah. And it's stupid because it's like they're letting go of one of like the best selling movies out there. I, I'm pretty sure the best selling movies like come from Disney, you know. But like second best, Universal top. Like I don't think anything else beats that category. Yeah, that's true. All right, so we're gonna stop at the gas station Ooh, to try to look for some monster. Oh, and uh, another thing that it's which is good news for right now during this pandemic is that uh, the Disneyland at Shanghai, they're already opening up and they're already uh, practicing for social distancing. And I wonder how that's gonna go. And I feel like that's good news because of the fact that hopefully, you know, Disneyland, which is the main and very first Disneyland ever created, will be following that process too. So I'm really excited about that. And I really wanna be vlogging over that. So point I wanted to start turn. vlogging too, cause I love how, I love vlogging and you know, I, I've, I've always wanted to go to Disney or to, some theme park to at least try to do it and bring you guys good content of our day and just you know show you how much of a fun time we have at the parks I'm really excited about that because disneyland i hope it opens soon or at least downtown disney and that's the end of today's video i mean dang i got really dark huh i know that's fast. What the heck? we just want to make short, a short clip for you guys to tell you guys how we're doing a little bit and we're ready to just start munching right now this concludes our episode of fernie and vero all right bye let's peace. see what may ha let's see what happens in may guys